Good morning, guys. Today is Friday, June 5th today, and we are on day 23 of our duck hatching. So there it is on our calendar, day 23. And if you grab your duck hatching journal, this is our last weekend report. So it's going to cover day 23, 24, and 25. So today is actually a PA day, so the only thing we posted for you today is the duck stuff. If you've had a chance already to vote on those names too, we posted that yesterday. You guys have until Sunday to pick your names if you haven't done it yet. I saw lots of you have already picked names, which is amazing. So come on into the kitchen with me and let's check out those ducks. Hello guys, it is Friday. The day is 23 in our duck hatching. I have the picture up here on the wall behind me. And today, what we're kind of seeing with our ducks is that the duck is filling the egg. So we've talked all this week about how our duck is getting bigger and bigger, and it's basically got everything it needs to hatch. We saw yesterday it started to absorb that yolk, and so it's ready, it's just not big enough yet. Our ducks have to get big enough to be able to push that shell open, and we're not there yet. So it's getting bigger, and it, this, the duck is starting to fill the egg. So that could be our Friday sentence if you're doing just Friday. The duck is filling the egg. But let me tell you about Saturday and Sunday, and then you can figure what you want to write for the weekend report. So on Saturday, tomorrow, I'll put that up big on the screen for you. There's Saturday. And Saturday, we see that the duck is starting to get squishy inside that shell bigger it's getting a lot bigger you can see there's not a lot of room around that duck anymore it's just a lot of duck a lot of air pocket and a little bit of yellow around it and then if we look at what's happening on Sunday it's even squishier inside that egg here's Sunday and I'll put that big on the screen for you there you go that's our Sunday picture and if you see oh my goodness look how squished inside that egg is oh my goodness the duck is growing so I'm gonna put those three sentences up on the screen for you with their pictures remember for the weekend report you can write one sentence two sentences three sentences you could write all three days just one day whatever you want we'll put all three up for you and you can write whatever you'd like for the weekend report but our duck is getting squishier and squishier inside that egg so our ducky, if you can see in the picture, his little head there, um, I'm going to hold this closer while I talk. So this is Sunday again, but look at how squishy that duck is getting. And so there's our duck's head down here and his bum's all the way at the top of that egg. And he's going to flip, almost his, his um, bill is going to be tucked like underneath his wing. He's going to be so squished in that air pocket. And he's got to peck into that air pocket, remember, in order to start hatching. So he's still got, there's a little bit of room in here. He's not filled the whole thing yet, but he sure is getting squishy. So there is what's happening. And because it's Friday, this is gonna be our last time to candle our duck eggs to see what's happening inside the eggs. So we will candle all six of our duck eggs again today. We'll see if we notice any differences. We'll see if we have a better idea of which ducks might hatch and which ducks might not. Um, and then we will let them rest until it's time for them to hatch. So what's gonna happen is after I finish candling them, they all go back in the incubator and they're gonna stay in the incubator for today, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, and then they're not gonna turn anymore. So the two days before they hatch, this is gonna stop turning. Remember how we've watched that a few times? It was beep, 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 beep. That whole thing's not gonna happen anymore because when it gets close to the hatch time, don't want them to move because they need to start finding their way to that air pocket and finding their way out of that shell. And if I keep wiggling them and turning them and rolling them, they're going to be so lost in those eggs. So that's kind of the exciting thing coming up next. But how about we candle them and see what's happening inside our eggs for today. So once again, I've got my candler here. I'm turn my flashlight on, get it all set up and ready to go. There is, I always take this out and I've never really told you about this, but if we had smaller eggs, even like chicken eggs, sometimes they just need something smaller to sit on, that sits in there. But because our duck eggs are so big, I don't use this for our big duck eggs. So I just set it on the counter over here. Boop. And then we'll put our duck eggs in here. And I've got my other phone in front of me. 
not, I guess one phone. This one's the iPad. My phone is here so that I can video us going in them as well. Okay, we are all set up. Egg number one, see if I can find her in here. Or him, let's see six. So this is our one, all right. Egg number one. Do you remember last time? Oh, this is heavy. How we saw, oh, I think I even felt a little wiggle. Very careful. We're getting so big, we should be able to kind of start feeling them. Move it around in here. I wonder if it's really bright inside the egg when I put that on it. When I put it on the light, I think the duckies need some glasses. I have my phone charged in for this, but let's see what we can see. Oh, I see that it is so dark. Why do you think it's so dark? Like, oh, there's our air pocket. There's a nice big air pocket at the bottom. We can see that, but why can't I see the blood vessels or the eye? Why do you think it's so dark? Ooh, it is very dark in there, isn't it? I'm gonna look with my own eyes. Well, you think about why is it so dark? Yep, it's just as dark with my own eyes. Do you wanna know why it's so dark? Or maybe you came up with it. See if you came up with the right answer. It is so dark in there because our duck is almost filling the whole egg. So we can hardly see anything because the duck is like the size of the egg now. So that's good. That means our duck's been growing. So egg number one seems like it's got a growing duck in it. Does that mean it's gonna hatch? It doesn't. It does not mean it's going to hatch, but it means that we think there's a duck growing in that egg. So egg number two is a little bit smaller, a lot smaller than egg number one. This one's probably about the size of a chicken egg, what you have in the fridge. Maybe even a little bit smaller. And it feels really light to me. So it could be a really tiny duck, or there could not be a duck in there. But let's see, what do we think about this? It's also really dark, isn't it? But it does look a little bit different to me. We got that ear pocket in the bottom, they should all have that. You can see a little bit of a difference between where the darkness is and where the air pocket is that I'm kind of watching there to see if I can see any wiggles. Don't see any wiggles. But it's still really dark, which makes me think a duck has been growing in here. Oh, here's a better spot. Let's see, I see some veins over here. Let's see if we can see any wiggles. Are you seeing those little wiggles? Yeah, definitely seeing wiggles in there. Look at him move! Oh my goodness! And when I see a moving duck, I need to make sure I speak to it until it's okay. So, quack, 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 quack. Gotta make sure he knows it's okay. Okay, let's put this wiggly number two duck back. so much lighter than egg number one, but we saw it moving. Does that mean it's gonna hatch? It doesn't mean it's gonna hatch. It is a really big job for ducks to hatch. It takes a lot of work. And if they're not strong enough, if they didn't get big enough or uh, grow at the right speed or something, anything can happen. We hope they all hatch, but we've never had every single one of our ducks hatch. It's blue in this one, doesn't it? This egg, number three, is a little bit blue. And so I think we're really seeing that right now. Oh, I don't know if you hear the barking, but my doggy's outside right now, and he is not happy. So I look, because I can kind of see a little bit of dark and a little bit of light um, beside the air pocket. And so that's kind of what I watch for movement. Got to be careful not to watch my phone wiggling, though. Sometimes I pretend like they're waving at us. <laughs> Do you see any wiggles? I don't know. I don't know if I saw a little wiggle. But some 
sometimes they're just so squished in there we can't even see the wiggle because it's just so squished. But it's definitely dark. I wonder even too, what is this spot? You see up there? Is he starting to hatch? Um, oh, yeah, I bet he's trying to get into his air pocket. Oh my gosh, guys, did you guys just see that? So that's his beak right there. So he's working on getting into that ear pocket. Oh, wow. Did you see that? Wow, did you guys see that? Oh my goodness, I'm gonna put this guy back. But that is so exciting. Number three. So it can still be a little while. There, he's got, I'm gonna close this for a second and we can talk about number three because, oh my goodness. I've never seen that before. So we have, I'm gonna show you on this picture and then I probably need to get my dog. We have our air pocket and we have our duck is getting super big, right? And we've said he has to hatch into his air pocket first. So this is all the white part of an egg. When you break open an egg and you get that yellow part and that clear part, so all this is the clear part that he's kind of swimming in. And he has to break through this part that, it's maybe like a layer of skin, be how I describe it. Or like if you blow a bubble, it would be like a bubble gum bubble, that kind of a thing. And he's got this really soft beak. And so he has to try to push his way into this air pocket. So that's what, he's not in it yet, but he's trying. And once he gets his beak in this air pocket, he's gonna go like this, remember? <sighs> first time he breathes real air and he's gonna keep breathing and, br and breathing and breathing and he's gonna enjoy it and love it and he could probably still be there for another day or two in that air pocket before he starts to run out of air and it tells him he's got to start breaking out of the actual shell so this is the first part they're starting to go into the air pocket oh how exciting okay ready for egg number four Oh yeah, it's wiggling too. You can kind of even see, like it's kind of hard to tell, but they almost look a little fluffy. Like we can start to see that they have feathers. Wow, it's wiggling. I'm gonna spin them a little bit more. Let's see if we can see anything else going on around here. Nice air pocket. That's a bright air pocket, isn't it? Look at that. You're in green.
over on. Egg number five. Very dark. Very dark. Dark is good. Ooh, that is a really big air pocket. It's interesting too why they have different size air pockets. Like the last one that we looked at looked like it had a small little air pocket. And this one looks like it has a big air pocket. And it's not very even either. Makes me wonder if he didn't rotate very well while he was in there. Okay, so I see that kind of light colored spot. That's where I'm going to watch this guy. See if we can see any movement on him. Or her. I just call them all names. Ooh, I think I see some little wiggly. I think egg number five is the one we saw dancing a lot last time, wasn't it? I think egg number five is the only one we saw moving last time. Yeah, I think I do see some little movements. I don't know if you're seeing what I'm seeing. Now, I think this is our best spot to watch right here. Looks like he's gotten big too. Okay, let's put this one back and do our last one. Good luck, number five. Guys, I am so excited about this. They're all looking so big and strong. six names are what our ducks become the six most popular ones that you guys vote for we will name our eggs and then what else do we need to do that's it for our candling next week we'll start to learn a little bit about what happens when they hatch and what that's gonna look like and when they do start to hatch you know how you guys watch these videos on YouTube is where I link you to I'm gonna live stream the hatch on YouTube so I will send out announcements and stuff when the hatching starts and then you can tune in at any time. Keep it on your TV or something if you wanted to. And we'll watch them hatch all day long if we have to. But it's going to be so exciting. Guys, thank you so much for tuning in for today. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. And I cannot wait to see what next week brings. You know, this time next week, on Fun Friday next week, we're going to have ducks. What? So exciting. 
All right. Bye, guys. Have a great weekend. I miss you.